I just want to read from a transcript of a phone call that was reported on in The Intercept with uh, Jeremy Scahill and uh, Ryan Grimm, who is a frequent guest on the Ken Ken and Ken show, which is a show from Massachusetts I listen to sometimes. He's got a good red hook, too. Yeah. He's got, he's a, he punched Jesse Waters. Yeah, we just we, were, we talked about that just that the other day. That is so But awesome. we shouldn't mention it every time. No, we really. should. It's, that's one of his greatest accomplishments. So uh, one of the, the – Donald Trump has made uh, – and the Trump administration has said – that one of the reasons that Trump is not going to criticize uh, the Philippines president, uh, Rodrigo Duterte, who has engaged in mass killings under the guise of a drug war, which is really about cleaning up his political opposition, and now is involved on the verge of declaring some type of state of emergency because of Islamic terrorism there. He's basically a walking wish fulfillment of everything that Trump wishes he was and could do. Um, he's a guy who actually has personally, he's bragged about personally killing people in his pr previous job and is engaging in ruthless human rights abuses to shore up his political base. And a couple of weeks ago, when it was announced uh, that, that Trump was inviting, I believe, Duterte to the White House, they asked people in the Trump administration, why would you guys kowtow to this guy so much. It's not like the Philippines, even if we're going to take a really cynical perspective on these human rights issues, the Philippines isn't China. It's not Saudi Arabia. It's not a place that maybe you have to ignore to some extent what they do uh, in order to engage in, you know, trade or, you know, larger issues. Philippine does, the Philippines doesn't punch that much above its weight. Um, President Obama certainly condemned Duterte in mild terms, and Duterte called Obama son of a whore, which is, I'm sure, another reason why Trump likes the guy so much. Uh, and they basically said, we can't mess with the Philippines right now because they're instrumental in dealing with the North Korea issue, uh, which there is literally no, I mean, yes, they're in Asia. And maybe that's like Trump's zone. It's like what you do is you get all the Asians and you have a bowl of rice and you figure it out. And the Philippines needs to be there. So they released this transcript of Trump talking with Duterte about, uh, or, or excuse me, it wasn't released, but it was obtained by The Intercept, of Trump talking with Duterte about North Korea's weapons program and the nuclear issue. And it was, you know, it was as ex sophisticated as you'd expect. This is Trump. He said, we can't let a madman with nuclear weapons be let on the loose like that. We have a lot of firepower, more than he has, 20 times 20, but we don't want to use it. In fact, the U.S. has 6,800 nuclear warheads, and North Korea is thought to have about 10. So Trump is radically underestimating that. You'll be in good shape, he added. We have a lot of firepower. And then he's back to the firepower. We have a lot of firepower over there. We have two submarines, the best in the world, we have nuclear submarines. McMaster, why are you giving me that look when I'm revealing this info? Yeah, what's the problem? Oh, are you going to have to do another press conference where you say I didn't reveal anything wrong? Yeah, well, get used to it. By the way, is my daughter hot? Now, we don't want to use all of them. I've never seen anything like they are, but we don't have to use this. But it could be crazy, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> the call taking place on April 29th, the transcript, an official Philippine Department of Foreign Affairs document, contains numerous typographical errors. Multiple government sources contacted by the Philippines outlet Rappler, which collaborated with the, uh, uh, with the Intercept on the story, confirmed its authenticity. Um, and then this is where Trump is rational. He goes, I hope China solves the problem. They really have the means because a great degree of their stuff is coming through China. But if China doesn't do it, we will do it. Then Duderte uh, volunteers to call uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping. And then adding, the other option is a nuclear blast, which is not good for everybody. I can really see how synchronized these guys are. Um, and Joseph Cirincioni is the president of the Plowshares Fund. He had this to say. He said, Trump has a, a disturbing tendency to talk very cavalierly about nuclear weapons, as if he is an impulse away from using them. He doesn't seem to understand the vast destructive nature of these weapons and the lines he would be crossed by using them. 
So there you have it. And I remember Tony Schwartz, who ghost wrote Art of the Deal, said during the prime during the campaign that he would be really he would expect Trump to potentially use a nuke. So don't worry about ISIL as much. And you know the it's scary got much thing is, bigger things about that. Is if if that happens, it's not because just Trump was able to convince the military to go along with it. It's because there are probably people in the military that have been itching to use these things that wish they would have used them in Vietnam, wished would have used them in other places, and now all of a sudden they get emboldened because you have, you know, Seb Gorka as deputy assistant to national security, and you have a bunch of absolute morons who are willing to act out the id of bureaucratically effective morons. That's what you have. And it's a really dangerous situation. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.